Yes, yes. Once again, welcome to Music Mondays with Terry Khan, where our guest artist is none other than the amazing Anthony Parker. Wait, hold on. This is me auditioning to be a group. No, too much, too much, too, too, too much vibrato. Oh, Need to lessen it just a little bit more. See, come on. You got to know the difference. <laughs> come on. How are you, Mr. Ponder? Oh, man. I am amazing, Miss Terry. Yes, I see you have your headphones, so I'm going to grab my headphones, too, just to make sure that we balance out this good sound. Okay. Yeah, you sound good to me. But, like, the playback is really weird. Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me keep playing this this fire song that I've been thumping all day. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you should you should be able to enjoy your own music, right? Um yeah, definitely. Now, but you playing the wrong one now. I need you to. I need you to jump in line with the with the new one that's out. But I like the favor because that's what I've been praying to God for for the past week. It just resonated Come with on. my spirit. With my spirit, I said, "God, <laughs> I need the favor of the Lord." Oh see, my let God. me see. The difference is, let me just just drop a nugget. I think that okay. we get confused sometimes. Uh, the song is really just to remind people that favor is a really it's already part of your inheritance. It's not okay. something you got to fight for. You got to you don't have to struggle for. Now sometimes it doesn't look like that, but that doesn't mean favor isn't working, right? So favor is yours. So favor is yours. It's, it's a, he's he's already because you are a daughter of the King. Come you on. already are favored by Come the on. Father. Hello, somebody. I didn't even introduce the man yet. He's already preaching. Come on, here. now. Ahead. See, sometimes, sometimes we're walking in manifested favor. Uh huh. Where you can see it clearly. It's like, man, bam, bam, bam. Yes. Yes. But, but, and the other thing is that sometimes we get confused with favor being uh, the house and the cars, right? But favor is the promises of God, which is, I'll give you peace that surpasses understanding. Uh -huh. That's favor. Right, come on. He's he's called us more than conquerors. That's favor. He's promised to never leave us or forsake us. That's favor. Having the having God right there at our access. That's favor. So uh -huh. I do I now I do believe that favor manifests itself physically. Right. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the nice things. You know, we mm -hmm. are we are in the world, so we understand that there are certain things that will manifest physically. Yes, but yes. we sometimes I believe as believers we look for the wrong things. Those are results of of favor, but again, it's not just that. So come on here. I'm I'm ready to talk about it. This this thing has been in my spirit, so let's go. Welcome to Music Mondays with Terry Khan, where yeah. artist slash preacher. <laughs> <laughs> is none other than Mr. Anthony Ponder of Anthony Ponder and Ministries Desire. <laughs> also, we need a little preaching music. I wish I could cue up an organ right now because you are definitely preaching man of God. I'm excited. I'm excited about what God is going to do in your life. I'm excited what he's doing in my life. And, I'm, and I understand my assignment. And my assignment is to encourage the people and, and give us better understanding as to our identity, as to who we wait, are. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You are answering my, like, that's question number six. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, had, I just had a little energy drink. I'm tired, so I'm, now I'm wired now. Oh, buddy. I understand. I understand. But I want to introduce you properly. Again, this yes, is Anthony Ponder, the group leader of Anthony Ponder and Ministries Desire. And um, I was fortunate enough to meet you, I feel like it was last, de last December or last January. We were both at the Liz Black at, at, at WLIB. Yes, yes, absolutely. You didn't remember that? I remember now because of the. Your attire you have on, I think you had on some of your designs. I remember now. And you know you didn't say crazy? too much to me. You was, you was New York shady. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because that was going to be my testimony. I was going to say, I walked <laughs> in the elevator with this brother. He was just like, I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you I like the fit of your coat because I'm into fashion. It was a really nice wool jacket <laughs> on. 
but you know, we ended up well going to the same place. I was like, right. all right, well, we're brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, but you said goodbye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, but you didn't even say hi. Come on here, sis. I, What's you know, good? Because when you say hi as a woman, sometimes men look, take it, you know. So I just, I usually wait on the hello and then I will respond. I when think it's the opposite. I know, think it's the opposite. The conversation of a conversation. I don't, I don't know. I think more men, I think women take men the wrong way more than we would take y'all the wrong way. I think. I could be wrong. Because women are generally nice, right? Men yes. are, you know, we're thinking with other you guys parts. Are special, yes. More, yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, y'all be swearing everybody be hollering at y'all. And we just be like, you know, what up? <laughs> what up, sis? You know what I mean? Because the holly usually starts with the what's up, sis. And I understand. See, here's the deal. You also are a little bit more protective because you're married, right? Indeed. And I think it comes from a history of women being traumatized, right? Mm. All we said was hello back, and now we're in a whole conversation. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with my husband. I was like, bro, I was just saying hello back because I'm a woman of God. I'm trying to make it to heaven. So, the, okay, the point is, you didn't say hello to me in the elevator at WLIB. You had on a nice coat. But you did say goodbye, and we became Instagram friends. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which yes. is amazing. Um, I was so impressed when you played... Um, you played the music because I believe it was right before a release party that you guys were having. Yeah, it was for the album. It was for our album release party. So we came up there to promote that. And yes. yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So upon hearing your music, I was like, oh, this this guy, even though he didn't say, even though he's a little bougie, he's really annoying. <laughs> and his music is amazing. I was very clear on what you were implying, which is why I was trying to mitigate it before you before the people believe your foolishness. No, you are not people <laughs> foolishness. Look, I'm, it's okay because it's been broken. You know, you are a wonderful man of God. We've spoken after that. Uh, and at least, you know, when <laughs> And you I was married, kind, right? Wasn't I kind when you we You were talked? kind. And when you get married, your wife... I didn't even, even, I didn't even put you... I didn't even put you with my manager. You, This was direct connect. You, Come on. You here. are right. God bless That's you. That's just favor. That's just favor. He bye. Come on. And when you you asked him for something you already got. Go. I'm sorry? I said, see, you already asked him for something you already got. You already got Look favor. The, come on, Jesus. And when you get married, your wife will know that you don't say hello to women. So she'll have nothing to worry about. So it's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to move on. Let's talk about music. There's so, so many good. layers here. So many <laughs> layers here. But I forgive you. I want to know how you got your start <laughs> in music. <laughs> Because I didn't realize, Anthony, like how long you've been doing this for. I just punched in your name in YouTube, and I saw a clip from like eleven years ago. Ooh. Like, no, it's good. It's good, <laughs> but I mean, you know, success doesn't come overnight, and it it made me respect you even more. You wow, know what thank I mean? you. So let's go back to the beginning. Were you this child <laughs> Apollo singer? Like, how did you get started in this beautiful thing called music? So for every all the church heads, I mean, this is the boring story that y'all hear all of us say. <laughs> so all of us started in the choir. You know, I was the choir director. You know, they had to put me and my brother up on the benches to direct adults and older people. Oh, so, oh. you know, that was that was the beginning. So, okay. you know, you stay faithful, you stay loyal. I grew up holiness Pentecostal. So Woo! it was my God. It was, Woo! you know, hell. Or or get your go get get yourself right, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's how I grew up. Um, wow. And it's weird because now I try to keep some of those same some of the same things there because I, I'm I'm grateful for my foundation. But that's how I started, man, humbly and and just submitting and being loyal and consistent and faithful to what I was assigned to do until God began to pull me out. Um, but uh, yeah, people don't want to hear about that process. They just they want the they want the instantaneous. Yo, I'm here. I made it. Uh, nah, that's not especially, how God works. You know, especially with the onset of social media, just like, oh, I can post a video. It's going to go viral and I'm um, going to get picked up and we're going to be rich tomorrow. It's it's a process. It's a whole process. Yeah. You know, which is why I like to, to talk to the artists, you know, that have, I'm going to say that you've made it, that have made it to really tell the truth. So growing up in, in Holiness is Right, Leading the choir, how did you yeah. get to the industry portion of it? Um, you know, again, that really wasn't my goal or my intent. 
Okay. Um, I just woke up. I, it's weird. This sounds so cliche, but it, and a little corny, but it's true. So okay. I really had a dream, and I, all I kept hearing God say was ministries desire. That's all he kept saying. I didn't know exactly what it meant. And um, when I woke up, I had, the, I had the clarity as to the definition. Um, and it just simply meant it, ministries desire means that ministry is our desire. So okay. when I started the group, um, I wanted to be clear with my intent. So if that's at the forefront, then hopefully we can conduct and, and keep that in mind and begin to move in purpose. So the purpose was ministry. And so yeah. I made that the forefront and, and I tried to move and do everything within purpose and intent. Mm. That was actually one of my questions. Why I was trying to figure out like the name of it. That's amazing. Yeah. So have you always, I know you grew up in the church doing music, but you said mm -hmm. it wasn't the goal. So what was your goal as a child? What were you trying to be as an adult? You know, I really just will. I mean, this is, I don't think anyone's ever asked me this. And I don't think I've ever said this publicly, but I wanted to definitely, when I was in high school, I wanted to be an R&B singer. So that was my goal. That was my intent. Hello, somebody. <laughs> okay. But, uh, <laughs> I want to be out there with Chris Brown. I feel you. Right, but our ways are not his ways, and I'm and I'm think. Ah, listen. Let me tell you something. I am thankful that that's not the uh, the road I went because God knows my soul. So, um, yeah. That, I mean, I mean church got you. They 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 got you. Were scared, and thank, uh, thank I, God you were. I, I, I wasn't scared. I just it just that wasn't what I was supposed to do. So that that's not what was in front of me that's not what I was led to that's not what I you know the environments I ended up being and okay. so okay. yeah so even though and you know I talk to uh I talk to artists about this often especially those who are under the category of like more so inspiration like I sing love songs but I love Jesus yeah, you know yeah. and um even when you look at I watch a lot of documentaries on like music music stars mm -hmm. The R and B world pays more. Like, let's just be totally real, and I think, <laughs> and I think that it's so like glorious that even if you love Jesus, it's a very, very tempting thing. So, what would you tell a person who's kind of toggling? Like, I love Jesus. I know what I've been called to do, but on the real, like, I just I want to go that way because it's mm. it's it's beautiful. Um, first of all. R&B does not mean that we are not in our divine and God assignment, right? Mm. So my first thing is that um, contrary to popular belief and contrary to what the church teaches us, okay. that does not mean we are not in ministry. As an example, okay. Oprah, for me, that is a form of ministry. Um, Michael Jackson, that is a form of ministry. What I mean by that is um, ministry does not simply mean that I'm laying hands on you and falling out, right? Ministry right. simply means that I'm administering some form of help or whatever, whatever. There's a there's a change, the, mm -hmm. an exchange or something. So my point is, how many people have has? I know this sounds ridiculous, and I and I'm cool with it. But how many people <laughs> have the ministry of Oprah Winfrey and the ministry of Tyler Perry and the ministry of Michael Jackson? How many people? How many greatness, how much greatness have they each birthed? You know, how many of us have they inspired? How many of us have they provoked to change? Right. Mm. Um, now, of course, if it's provoking you to to worship in Satan, then wow. I, I'm not going to call that a God thing. But, you know, <laughs> for me, ministry and or assignment does not necessarily always mean the church. And yeah. Yeah. and we have to understand that. So my answer, I said all I have to say to answer your question, I don't think my my response would be oh no don't do that because of mm -hmm. god my mm -hmm. first thing would be is that is that what's god god is leading you to do and okay. if and if so then i'm gonna say go for it you know what i mean okay. so but if we if we are driven and if we are uh led by money mm -hmm. then then we're not in assignment that's not assignment um, Ooh. wait say so, that one more time brother that's really good hello leon if, lacy say that one more time <laughs> leon what up my guy <laughs> Le Leon used to love me, bro. He used to be such such a, a good big brother. Now, like Ooh, he forgot he me. Yeah, I don't know what's up, with Leon. Man. He went to California. He got really, you know, see y'all New York people. I, I promise, you know what I mean. Ooh! I'm seeing it. There's a there's a there's a consistency there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> so, uh, um, but no. So again, if if if, if you're focused and you're in, if you're led and your heart is led by money, then that's not assignment. That's not a ministry. Wow. So that's I'm not going to tell you to go for it anyway. Mm. If you are led by money, then that is not a that's a write that in your future book. Okay? <laughs> you sound like my manager. Come on, yeah. come well, on, tell me to go all the time. Of your profits. Okay. <clears throat> So you are the leader of Ministries Desire. And um, unlike some other leaders of groups, you can actually, you can like sing sing, like for real. So I, I, tell, my, I tell people I'm a uh, level C singer. So I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm good with that. My, my singers are level A. I'm level, level C, maybe a Let's little D. Talk about this soprano that you <laughs> There's a soprano. And I was looking at the screen like, are you an angel? I just want to know. <laughs> where your singers are definitely amazing um but again you can sing yourself so why did you choose to go the group route as opposed to being a solo artist so um <laughs> you know this is a this is a good question i was always attracted to my first musical inspiration was james hall and worship and praise oh, um I hear, like I hear a little bit of that in your you get what i'm saying so those that his beginning records man whew, i mean it would send me like in the clouds <laughs> yeah. and then i became and i still love them but i started becoming i evolved a little bit differently w within like donald lawrence and the company so like i've always been attracted to how voices sound together like i That's love true. parts i yeah. love to build parts and and realistically i mean you know i feel i feel like i can be a lot more candid in this interview than i normally am with oh, radio interviews totally. So let's let's just keep it at one hundred, right? So first of all, for a singer, a uh, gospel artist and gospel music, that's a whole different level. So the level of expectation, the level of like you know delivery, is so far beyond what normal singing is. Totally. So like I feel like I'll tear an R and B song up because ain't nothing. Okay. But like if you a gospel singer, like they expect you to do backflips. They want you to spit, and they want you to fall on the floor, and they want you to sing high, and they want you to sing on... I mean, it's just too much. Let's and, just start saying Apple praise, because if you don't sound like you're scared, <laughs> no, I, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah. so I, I know that that's not that's not how God blessed me. And that's cool. I'm good wow. with that. So, like, I'm good. Um, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm clear on who I am. I'm clear on what I'm assigned to do, and I'm not trying to be, you know someone else I, i'm 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 starting to understand and appreciate what god has called anthony to be and that's cool like i'll be a level d singer and that's cool but i, I know how to put i know how to put those level a singers together you went down to d. i really need you to stop demoting yourself I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> uh, so it's according to the day how about that terry <laughs> I understand. so you do all of your own vocal arranging for, for yeah and but i want to shout out i uh, definitely i shout out my brother my brother, if anybody has ever been around us, like my my brother is my my yin to to the yang, like real Which talk, my like blood brother. my blood brother. So oh, like my me. my little brother sings with me. So okay. if you if you ever look at the group, it's weird because people don't know until they look at us. I'm like, you can't tell us, my brother, but like. You know, I can't take full credit for all my arrangements. Um, okay. You know, majority will come from me. I pretty much write everything. But, like, my brother, he hears on another level. So I got to give credit to him. He kills. And you've mentioned um, James Hall. You've mentioned Donald Lawrence. Who are some of your other musical influences? So PJ Morton is probably one of the, my, my biggest right now. PJ. Um, Yes. Yeah. My favorite writer by far is, is Stevie Wonder. So PJ okay. is, is next in line with that. You know what I mean? Um, from a global holistic artist, it's Janet yeah. Jackson. Um, <laughs> okay. uh, I've, I've been in love with Janet from, from day one. And, you um, and every you know, other man in the earth. <laughs> her, her artistry moves me. It literally does. So her artistry really moves me. And I, I try to stay true to certain things. And me growing up as a 90s kid, you know, I try to stay true to that with music now. Like, like with Favor, Favor was a homage for us for a 90s type of sound of music. Um, yeah. We were trying yeah. to mimic like SOP old records yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. So, um, 
Yeah, man. So that, that's yeah, let me think. Oh, one of my favorite my, one of my favorite vocalists. I I I, I, I want to just elaborate a lot. So my okay. favorite favorite female singer outside of every girl in my group, by the way, is Ayana yeah. George. Ayana George Ooh. is my favorite female singer, period. I just want to tell you that she's from New York. Okay. Yes, and, and she is my she is like one of my best friends. So oh, Ayana is my, literally my favorite, my favorite and female she singer. Too. Like she doesn't even have to be humble because she's so dope. She doesn't have to be. Um and uh probably one of my one of my favorite male singers that I'm rock, rocking with right now. Um uh, my boy is Gene Moore. So he's incredible i was put on to gene Moore. i say about four weeks ago don't kill me i'm really late but um, <laughs> his drummer is my church's drummer and one of my vocal producers and he's like yeah i play for this guy and i was just like changed my whole life he's amazing yeah. wow yeah, he's, he hurts too. he's incredible <clears throat> um you, i'm sorry go ahead no no that's it i'm good you mentioned that you you write all of your songs too so what is your writing process like um, I want to shout out one of my bros, and I'm not name dropping, it just happened to be one of my bros who <laughs> is like also a musical mentor, but more so friend of Sean Mitchell. I changed my writing style because of him. And okay. he was very, he was very, uh, um, very direct with me. So like I was working on some music and he's like, let me hear it. And, uh, you know, he, he basically called it trash. Let's just say what it is. Okay. But, uh. <laughs> he uh, he he uh, he challenged me in terms of how I write. So as an example, I hear melodies. I hear melodies all the time. Okay. Um, so I'm because I I am gifted to write. I can write at any time, Terry. Like literally, oh, you so play jealous. music. I can write at any time. Like oh, I so always I, I always hear melodies. Yeah, that I always so hear awesome. melodies. I've that's always so heard awesome. them and whatever it could be. But I've learned now there is also a difference between when I'm when I'm just doing it because I'm gifted and I'm, I'm under the unction of the Holy Spirit. Does that make sense? I got so yeah. I, I no longer have to just write all the time just because. I, okay. It's just, it's my gift, so I can do it anytime. But my point is, versus just melodies, because I hear, mm, 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 and I'm like, oh, cool, cool, let me try to put something together. And right. I'll work on my melody first and then my words later. And what he said, and I'm, and obviously I'm, hopefully this is nuggets for other writers, yeah. is what he challenged me to do is instead of starting with my melody first, he said, literally have a conversation, talk. He said, talk like you would talk. So it's like and telling a story. So, right. And, and that's what I would do. I would, I would take my notes out on my phone yeah. and just, I, I talk to text a lot. So I'll just I'll yeah. just start have recording and just start saying what I want to say in this song, what I'm feeling and what I want to share. So then that's my core. That's my foundation. And so then because, again, I can come up with melodies and be, yeah. I, I then start looking at the words and melodies, the melodies come. But now I'm I'm intentional with what I'm saying. And and it's it's smart. It makes sense. And it, and it sounds funny. better. And I, when I was in English class, my, my uh, English teacher used to tell me, he says, stop trying to focus on rhyming and, and just speak so that people can understand and people can hear. So it's the same thing for me. So a lot of times in, in songwriting, we get lost in the rhyme. Oh, wow, I got to rhyme. Nah, people will gravitate to heart versus just, you know, whatever, just saying anything that rhymes. So that's my, that's my new writing way. So that's amazing. That's yeah. a, I'm going to so steal that from you and Vishon. Thank you. Um, and I was going to ask you, because I, I, I see that you have worked with Vishon Mitchell. Who are some other artists that are like on your bucket list to work with? Uh, my bucket besides, list? Besides Janet Jackson. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Because I was about to say. I, <laughs> if I you was, want to go was... over to the gospel side, then more power to you but <laughs> nah 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 i don't i don't wouldn't even want to but um you know right now who i really really want to work with is um is b slate that's who i want to work with i'm feeling real i'm gonna google them after it's cool so you've heard of a gospel artist called tone yeah mm -hmm. so b slate is the r&b version of tone so it's the same person <laughs> Wait. He changed his name like Prince. He's back. So he's been back. That's the thing. So now 
Yeah, I, I'm not gonna get into. I can't get into all that. I don't. I, I don't because I don't want to say it incorrectly. But uh, B. Slade came back as an R&B singer versus uh, gospel artist. Now he's doing gospel, but I think I think B's thing is just he wants to do music. Period. Yeah. So it is what it is. But like, yo, he's he's one of the best. Like yeah. in everything. Yeah. Vocally, uh, production wise, and I mean, he's he's honestly just a really amazing person amazing person so that's who i want to work with on my on my next uh musical thing when i get a chance i'm so gonna i'm so glad i i asked you and i was honest instead of being like oh i because i really I <laughs> yeah I, I saw it i saw it all in your face uh but uh i wasn't i wasn't sure if you were gonna tell us that you didn't know and that's cool that's cool I'm he's yo guy. he's crazy terry you gotta yes. you gotta catch up between like his range as a man just embarrasses me as a woman, but the texture, <laughs> like, the texture, That's the funny. tone of his voice. Oh, I can't. I'm. I'm really. I really just want to go and like hear his new stuff. Wow. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. Um, so, um, how long has Anthony Ponder and Ministry Desire been around? I say about ten years, but I want to say it's a little bit longer. Um, just a little just bit longer. Eleven years ago. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I want to say between maybe let's say fifteen in total. Fifteen. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. So before I ask you what's next, I'm just gonna get a little bit, uh, a little bit deep into your your personal business here, because um, that's what we do on Music Mondays with Terry Khan. What has been your greatest obstacle in life thus far? And how have you been able to overcome it? You can get as deep <sighs> as you want to. Please get really deep. But, you know, uh, <laughs> your greatest obstacle so far in life and how have you overcome it? My greatest obstacle is me by far. It is, it is um, putting my desires over my assignment. Mm. Um, it is um, just, you know, thinking I know everything when I don't. Um, but it's a lack of humility. Um, it, it, or let me, I'm saying these, these have been, it's, it's been a lack of humility. Um, and again, you know, what is so weird is that I've discovered that people say constantly, oh, you know, they ask him, God, God, talk to me, give me direction. Mm -hmm. But I find Terry more so in my life that God is constantly talking. I just find that I'm not in a place where I'm listening or hearing. Um, and yeah. more so, I find out a lot of times that if we just take moments and pay attention to to functions and feelings, yeah. we'll, we'll realize that the Holy Spirit is talking to us uh, constantly. And so with that being said, there have been so many times in my life that God has given me warning and God has given me clear, clear, I was clear on what was supposed to happen, but because I put my desires and, and what I wanted before what I knew or what I felt, yeah. I, I could have, I could have, and I should have avoided a lot of mistakes. Wow. So I want to say my biggest obstacle has been me. Um, and, and I am, and what have I done to change that? I am still trying to change that. Um, because you know, we let, I, I let me get in the way more so than, than I need to. And again, I'm learning. Uh, I, I definitely am learning. Um, but uh, it's definitely been me. Definitely been me. That I, I love your transparency with that. Thank you very much. You know, uh, pr pride, I think is the easiest thing to like fall victim to. You know, especially when God has given us the talents and the gift. It's like, I mean, it's, especially like you just said, you can hear a melody, you can write, you can hear a song. So you kind of, not what do I need God for, but there can be times where it's just like, you know, I got this. No, literally, I got it. Wow. Right, right. It's so weird. How, how, how is it that so many of us at so many points um, <clears throat> do God assignments without God, right? Isn't that stupid? <laughs> it's, it's the most stupidest thing but it's, um, again it's easy because we're it's so easy. gifted we're so knowledgeable on our own yeah that we, are di we are focused on our knowledge and not the wisdom you know and sometimes for me i find that it's not that it's it's not that i don't want to include him it's just that i get so busy oh my god i gotta preach here i gotta sing here i gotta do an interview with terry 
I was like, oh, uh, yeah. Well, did you like, yo, what's up? Hey, you I forgot about me? Did you even like, say good morning? Exactly. It's like, well, I'm doing your work, but like, yo, like, spend some time with me. That's so important, man. Um, so it's so weird. Again, we just do so many things. It's like, ah, oh, how did I miss that? It's like, ah, uh, because you wasn't listening, dummy. So isn't that crazy? No, it's real quick. And like you said, it's like, but God, I mean, I'm preaching your word. <laughs> right. I'm singing your song. It's not like I'm out here, you know, doing right. something else. But God's like, but you didn't even talk to me. Yeah, yeah, You're exactly. Talking about me, and you know, it's the simple things. As an example, it is it is the simple things that, when you ask a particular question, me knowing what I'm what I'm supposed to say because I was I was connected. It's the simple things like when we go to the church, like yo, you may be able to smash anything you want, and you may mm -hmm. be able to tear church up, but there may be a specific a specific word that God really wants you to say to these people, which is contrary to what you already put on set. As an example, but again, we're so we 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 forget we forget Him, and we kind of just do our own thing, calling it Him. It's weird, and well, I, again, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and I get it. I understand it. I totally understand it. Um, you know, so it's not necessarily to knock us because I do it regularly, but I laugh at myself. I'm like, yo, you a dummy. Like, <laughs> like, like, how how you doing so much and forgetting about him? Like, like, you know, it's crazy. So it's so um, especially as like um a praise and worship leader or a musician, every praise and worship leader and musician, I call it the Mashunda chords and the Mashunda songs. Mm -hmm. You know, you sing specific song, everybody's gonna fall out. You sing Up and Omega, everybody's gonna cry. Right. Yeah, right, you, right. Like, oh, I smashed that. I cried. No, you just sung what you knew, but you weren't even connected. Because, like you said, God had a word for Victoria in the audience, but she was so on autopilot and just proud that everybody's crying and tearing up that she didn't even give her whole word because you're not connected. Yeah, I um, it was so weird. Uh, we were at a church somewhere, and uh, one of the dopest. And I, I'm honored that she sings with me. Miss Casey Edwards is here, but uh, she is can that attest. I mean, all of them mm. are amazing. But... No, she, she's a, she's an alto. She's Casey, she trusts you're me. Amazing. Okay, she's the alto. Trust me. So um, we um, we were at this church, and it was like, I mean, we did a Sunday morning, and it was it was like a really small crowd, which was cool. Um, and then afterwards. Uh, I'm sitting there and it was like, we didn't, we ain't sell no product really. It was like, uh, you know, ain't nobody want to buy no CDs. And I was, again, I, in my head, it's all good. You, you kind of yeah. experienced both of those, but I remember looking at this lady before we were leaving and I couldn't get her. She, she just, for some reason, she was just, she had my full attention. Wow. And I remember saying to her and my brother, Casey and my brother, Hey, br I just was led and I, I heard it really clear. Just drop her this CD. And I told them to bring her the CD, and they brought it to her. And for some reason, it wasn't for me to bring it to her. It, mm. it, again, it's, it's, it's really, God is intentional. So I may not have known how to function that way, but they went over to her. I don't know what happened. I don't okay. know what my brother said or Casey said, but next thing I know, like, it's a full tarrying service. And, wow. you know, the girl's crying and stuff like that. And mm. it was just so strange. And I, I'm grateful for those moments. Like, the singing was good. That was great. Yeah, right. Whatever. But, like, that moment, hopefully, like, her life has changed for yeah. whatever reason or yeah. somehow, you know. Yeah. And for me, like, that's part of purpose. That's the, that's the part that gets me excited. Like, like I know I'm here to, to, to change and inspire people's lives. And so when you get a chance to see the manifestation of what you know you've been assigned to do, man, that's, that's super dope, you know, so... Um, Let's expound a little bit more on that because one of my questions a little bit later on is going to be, what is the bigger picture of your ministry? Mm. Um, I don't know if I'll share all of that, um, okay. but I, I'm I'm clear. I, I I dream and I have visions very clearly. Okay. So, um, and I also and I al don't always like to to. Uh, put those things out in the atmosphere with everybody. If that makes sense. Totally, um, yeah. so, um, but, you know, my goal is um, in, in this life is far beyond, again, just the group. I appreciate uh, this being part of my assignment, but I also believe that this is just part of it. Um, I yeah. do recognize that I don't believe I'm a preacher, but I do believe that um, I am called to teach 
and again to inspire in some type of way. Listen, so Bishop, whether the, <laughs> Bishop, the way you opened up the live within the first four minutes, <laughs> I was ready. I was ready. I just, but, um, I just want to be in your online church. Okay, <laughs> but I believe that um, I am, I am called to, um, to give people better understanding of our, their identity and who they are and who they are God. Um, I believe that we make a lot of dumb decisions because we lack uh, placement, we lack security, we what? lack, um, again, it's identity, it's identity, because queens and kings don't act a certain way because they know who they are, right? And yes. so I believe that we make certain decisions because we have been told or we believe that we are less than who God has called us to be. So I believe part of my assignment in this earth is to, again, bring clarity and enlightenment as to who God believes us to be. And when we begin to believe that and put that in our spirit, man, I believe that our lives will change and I believe that will flow in a different way. Um, so the bigger picture, I think, let me get back to the, the bigger picture. I, I like, I love producing. I love writing for other people. Um, okay. So I really, really see me walking in that vein um, as it relates to, you know, taking ministry to another level. So I do see me in front of people speaking. Uh, definitely, I ain't using the word preaching. But I, I see me in front of people speaking regularly. Um, the word, the word of God. Word. <laughs> I could, we'll take it. But uh, I see me in that format, but I also see me producing and writing for the people. I love, I love being behind the scenes and just making great music. I um, love it. Casey Edwards just typed in tongues. So I yes. think she's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Casey's a trip. Oh no, you, 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 have, you, haven't, you haven't seen, you ain't seen nothing yet. You really need to be around her in person. I love it. Casey, let's chat. I'm switching <laughs> gears a little bit. Guys, if you have a question, by the way, for uh, for Mr. Ponder, just hit that box with the question mark in it. Please do not post questions on the wall, but post it in the comment section, and I will ask your questions if appropriate. Um, what? I got a screen. Some of these people are trying to protect you. Um, what is the hardest part of being a male in the gospel industry? Oh man, I <laughs> I think I, I think I'm gonna make people mad time. about this. Be real, please. <laughs> I think I think that all right. So I'm gonna be real. Um, and you know it's so weird because I definitely give the political Anthony Ponder on my most of my other interviews, but I feel a little bit different. So you'll get the you'll get you'll get the person at the group knows. So I believe that one of the hardest parts of being a male in the gospel industry is being a man in the gospel industry. And what I mean by that, just in case I'm not clear, oh, is that clear. I believe... Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> but go ahead well, for I... the people who didn't get it. Go ahead. Explain. I believe that... Um, and, th and let me just say, this, has, this is not a sexuality thing. It has nothing to do with that. I believe that um, gospel, the church, and... Um, just the overall God thing with men has become over uh, effeminate, yeah. um, over dramatic, and wow. and the reason why I'm I'm saying that, or the reason why I think it's important, that because, all right, let me say this: you're a black female who likes to dress well, or whatever case would be. Most likely, if you look at people who follow you, they probably are similar, right? Yeah. So they are track we're we're attracted to similarities, right? Right. So yeah. I say that to say if in the if if that's all we see or if this is fully the representation of us, mm -hmm. what else do we attract? We attract the same and like things. Yes. So it is hard to bring the man or the male back to the church the way we want them or to see what family is when the only thing they see are two females next to each other and we call that uh, first lady and pastor, right? Understood. So yeah. that's what I mean by that. Um, wow. I believe I believe it's important. Um, I believe it's important that again we're back to identity. I believe it's important going back to identity in terms of who we're called to be. Again, this is not a sexuality thing; it has nothing mm -hmm. to do with that. Mm -hmm. This is just simply a posture and yeah. a representation. 
That's all. That's needed. Thank you. Thank you. I had see two questions. Um, okay, Paul says, "What is your five year goal as an artist?" Oh, I hold. Is that Paul Bromfield? It is. I'm not answering his questions. Next. Okay. Next question. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. Um. So I mean, one of the one of the goals uh, for me was one of the next steps I wanted to achieve was be signed so that um, there is a a breather, sort of. You have some sort of help, shall we say. Um, so, you know, luckily this year, you know, uh, grateful to God that we were, we yeah. have been signed um, with a distribution deal with, you know, music group, Sony Music and The Orchard. Yeah. So I'm going to that step. Um, Five-year goal is to do less of Anthony Ponder and Minish Desire and more so behind the scenes. So winning those awards for just my work and, and just for that. And on top of that, being able to um, walk into the other parts of the other parts of my calling, which again, going back to the teaching and things like that. Pastoring, bishopering. Okay. <laughs> um, next question. Where do you think gospel music is heading sonically in the next 10 years? <sighs> That's mm. good, but I'm gonna steal that. I got next. That's a great question. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that one um, because I would have never seen it go through the transitions that it went through. So we go from you know like barking and really church music to to CCM to it, it's so I don't know. I don't know how to gauge that one. I don't know how to gauge that one. That's a good question. Now let let me switch it to uh to you and your sounds because you do have like more of a tradi it's a traditional sound with the young person's flair on it. Let's just say mm. that, right. Okay. Um, do you see your style changing within the next few years? Like, are you are you gonna put out some like gospel trap? Like any, or are you just sticking? Like, is this your sound? No, no, I am a music fan. Like, okay. I love music so. I definitely see myself expanding in different types of elements, but I may not change the group sound. The group is the group. That's their yeah. brand. Yeah. But me as a writer, me as an artist, okay. that certainly I'm completely open to that awesome. part of it. I love, I love working with other people who bring a different perspective to music. So certainly, man, I'm, I'm down. Let's do it. You know? So. Okay. Okay. What's the greatest takeaway uh, from 2020 so far? I know we're only in October, about to be in November, but what has been your greatest takeaway thus far? Um, appreciating time um, and appreciating um, what we have as, as life. Yeah. Um, we saw our world change without, um, without us being able to do anything. So um, you know, life has been um, brought back to the forefront as something extremely precious mm -hmm. and something that we, no matter how old we are, we really can't take for granted, right? Yeah. Um, so it, it makes me, it, it, these, the, the 2020 has pushed me to just go downstairs and spend some more time with my mom, you know, just, I don't even say anything. Yeah. Sometimes I just sit on the couch and just you know, let her talk or just watch TV with her. You know what I mean? For me, that's a lot more precious. And I was so busy going and doing that those moments was like, ah, ah I'll Lost. get to it. Yeah. But it's yeah. like, yo, yeah. now is the time. Now is the time. Yeah. And I don't believe that this was coincidental. And I don't believe it was the devil. I, I really believe that this was the hand of God um, yeah. catching our attention. Um, church, as we know it, I don't believe will ever be the same, you know once once there is once we come back so okay. um so now it it requires us to tap in to the voice of god and say like well all right cool what do you what do you require from me now like mm -hmm. what what do you want what do you want to do now you know what i mean so there is a message here and i don't know if we all got it um um there and he's talking to i think us as a church, and I think he's talking to us individually. So it's really just for us to tap into it and figure it out. Um, I'm, I'm still, I'm still listening. I'm not completely fully clear, but I have gotten great lessons out of it. Right, right. 
Nikki's Adventure said, I'm grateful. Grateful yeah, when yeah, I so find toilet paper at the store. I'm and seeing that, and I, and I cracked up. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. I, March 9th, I'll never forget this day, March 19th, because that was the last day that I went to church. It was the Sunday before the Monday when things really, like, shut down. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, we... We in the United States of America, we hear about things all the time. Y2K, you know, especially New Yorkers, we, we thugs. Nothing scares us, right? Exactly, exactly. We're like, oh, man, okay, whatever. But when I, Anthony, I went to the supermarket on March 19th after church, and I, oh, sorry, I saw no toilet paper, no chicken, and no water. Right, right. It put things into, I was just like, oh, wait, this is, this is real. That's right. So, That's yes, right. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, I think I had one more question here. We're almost done. I know I'm talking your ear off. You're good. But you're I'm talking enjoying good, it. Brother. You're talking good. <laughs> okay. Can you give advice to uh, to an independent artist that may be listening right now? Um, my advice is to be true to who God has called you to be. Number one, again, I'm, I, I keep going back to this identity thing. I need to write this down. It must be something um, with that. So it is just knowing who you are um, and that will evolve. That will change. But um, I think I think I find myself that it went as a writer and as an artist. Do I try to shift with what everybody else is doing or do you know, I go at this alone and, and, and do who I who I've called to be. Mm -hmm. So for me. I, I I would prefer to create music that is pure yeah. and that is from my heart. And, and again, God ordained versus strictly making music with the heart of, I want to garner a certain amount of success. Success is beautiful and we all want it. But if that is your only goal, then again, we're not walking in assignment. So my, my only advice to the independent artist is to be clear on the voice of God with your movement. And to stay true to the assignment, stay true to your purpose, and stay true to your identity as to who he's called you to be. Because that's where he's going to make room for you. Awesome. 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 Um, Davis Kimani. Is that, that's your manager, right? That's my manager. Hello, Mr. Kim. I had a three-minute conversation with him, and I absolutely love him. He's wonderful. So, um, <laughs> I just pinned your website, guys. Yeah, come on, manager. The new music release, that's just favor, is available on all digital outlets. This amazing song is led by music recording artist Lena Bird Miles. Did I do that well? So, can I keep behind me for voiceover? Thank you. You did it really good. But however, <laughs> the unfortunate part is you didn't play it. Because, oh my God. You see, I feel this elevator shade coming back. I t I'm <laughs> going to play oh, it. Oh, and oh, you want me to be transparent about my feelings, but you don't want me to be transparent when it comes. I see. I yeah, see. No, 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 all the way. I want it all. <laughs> I want it all. I want it all. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> tell us, so you have recently got signed. Um, I literally screamed, by the way, when I saw your post because. I know I'm not in the group, even though I'm auditioning. <laughs> but let's go. I just feel like as an independent artist, like your success is my success because I know the struggle. So I yeah. just I want to say to God be the glory. I'm so excited. To God be the glory. So excited for you. So please tell us about the new music and a little bit about what's coming up next for you guys. Listen, I this is gonna be the best music I've I've ever experienced in my life. It's so good, y'all. Um, I mean, it just it. It uh, came out of struggle and it came out of frustration. So mm -hmm. the name of the record that's coming out is called The Reprocess. Okay. It's birthed from my first, from my last record, um, which charted on Billboard Top 20 for four to five weeks. Um, thanks to, to the favor of God and, of course, to everybody who supported. So thank you again. But I didn't, I felt that it was not time to let that message go, right? Okay. And so the process really just talks about, process is just change and transition. Okay. So we as uh, people and we as in this generation, we don't want to deal with the transition. We just want, we want what we want now, right? It's my money and I want it now, but mm -hmm. nobody wants to deal with the process. Mm -hmm. So the process just simply talks about um, 
point A between point A and point Z. See, God is weird, right? So he tells us, he gives us the vision, he gives us the dream, he gets us all souped up. Oh, Terry, you're gonna be this, you're gonna be that. Right. However, he 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 always showed he start man. So God gotcha. starts with the ending first. God uh -huh. always starts with that right. ending first, right? right? So the ending is beautiful. The ending looks great, man. But he God, you the middle where you're screaming and crying and frustrated. Why Kim Burrell says there's something about the middle, right? Come on. So that <laughs> middle part. So the process what? is 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 it's it's really important and it's really necessary for for the promise. You cannot have promise without process. So this record is just talking about that. It is, it is the it is the time of humility. It is the time where we submit and it is the time here's the here's the big word that we don't want. It is the time where we wait. And nobody wants to wait, right? Don't curse at me, right? Don't <laughs> waiting. Because God, you said <laughs> right but when but when but when but when 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 it's like are we there yet are we there yet are we there yet so like my i i, I my this started this this record and and all the messages that had come forth started with my prayer to god and my prayer to god was frustration like yo i know you promised this to right. me and i know and i know i heard it correctly and more importantly i've been hearing it all my life all so, my life oh sorry all my life so when, uh, uh, like, yo, I'm 40 now. Like, what's good, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel, I feel a little toyed with. And and right. here's the deal, right? We we always tell people, ah, oh, you know, don't compare yourself to other people. Don't do this and don't do that. But man, come on, how do you how do you not compare yourself to to people around you? It's really really hard. Yeah. And, and you can still be happy for somebody, but still be anxious about what's happening for you. You know what I mean? We're so. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So with that being said, like this was birthed out of frustration and I was upset. I was like, yo, like, you know, this can't be like you said this. And it's like, I feel like I missed my time. Um, wow. And the process is, is just really God's conversation back with me, basically asking me, did I trust him? And I'm like, yeah, I trust you. He's like, so wow. if you trust me and if you believe that I have your best interest at heart, uh-huh why would i be playing you type of thing you know what i mean and it's like wow. the process the the process is really talking about my submission um it, it the one of the lines that that's crazy and i love it and i hope i hope i hope your your listeners get with this it says it may not feel good but it's for my good right well. so that's the that's the resolve it's like all right you know what i gotta deal with the process anyway so instead of now being upset um, the song just simply talks about embracing it. You don't have to despise it anymore. It's like, you got to do it. You got to do it. And it's right for you. It's good for you. So you might as well just embrace it. You know what I mean? Don't fight it. Just deal with it. So um, this new record is just talking ah! about the reprocess, right? right so, I mean, I was so excited about it. And we got some we got some beautiful people on it. So Daryl Walls is on uh, one what? of the songs. Yeah, we got Lisa yeah, Page. Uh Lisa Page legend on it. Um, yes. Y'all already heard uh, Lena Bird Miles on the single. Well, y'all haven't because Terry didn't play it yet. But y'all gonna hear it and it's gonna be dope. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Lena Bird Miles, if y'all don't know, my God, on today. My God. She's gonna smash that song. So y'all gonna really, really enjoy it. Um, and Hush Hush, but we got Crystal Rucker on one of the songs. Oh, she did it. She did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man! Is this man come for me one more time? I'm from New York. I know. I will finish playing it at the end. I just so it's 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 really a great body of work. I'm really really proud of it. Um, and again, it's gonna be the first uh, album on. Uh, our new distribution label deal and we're really really excited about it so we want y'all to get it now but in the meantime let me just say yeah. i need everybody all 17 to 20 of y'all right now if y'all can download the new single called that's just favorite but here's the deal don't just stream it pay for it it's only a dollar y'all one dollar so y'all can y'all help actually download it and buy it we, we would greatly appreciate it
I need everyone because they're going to listen in the playback, not only here, but in the podcast and in my YouTube. Everyone, please, please support this amazing, um, amazing man of God. Don't let the shade fool you. He's really anointed. <laughs> He's an He's my brother in Christ. I love him. I'm just trying to make it to heaven. So I love him. But <laughs> no, but seriously, um, when I, I listen, I, I, I'm a, a harmony fanatic. Like, I love blends. And, and when I listen to you, I'm just like, yes, brother, you got it. You got it. And I'm really excited to see where God is going to take you, especially with this expansion. You see, your frustration and the way got you a distribution deal. Come on, on here. Come on here. He'll do it. He'll do it. That's amazing. He'll do it. Do you have any like virtual concerts coming up that we can look out for? Yeah, we're getting ready to do. We're going to relaunch our release party for That's Just Favor. I'm going okay. to actually I'm going to hit you up about it because I really, really need your help with it. So I'll okay. holler at you about that offline. But we'll definitely keep your listeners. Uh, we'll send you the information. Hopefully you can kind of help blast that. But yeah, it's coming okay. up in the next two weeks. It's going to be killer. So oh my God, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, I think I've talked to Aaron. Someone said you need to go to France. Listen, come on, France. I see you, Nikki's. Let's make it happen. Is Nikki Let's make it happen. France, Nikki? Well, she's, uh, Nikki said y'all need to go to France. Oh, go to France. So that maybe she, maybe <laughs> Nikki's not in France. But either way, that means you got some hookups. Let's make it happen. You got some some connections. Let's, Let's make it happen. Me. We ready. Be everywhere. You coming to Ghana with me. We're going we gonna to work this thing on out. I'm talking about. Let's have some fun. Some but you need to make some, uh, you need to make some, um, you make clothes for men or just women? So I design for women. Okay. Well, we need to make some stuff happen. I have, I have, I have six, six women in my group. Oh, it's on about. See, yeah. They teach me how to sing, and I design them. Deal. <laughs> have you had? I noticed too, like you've had the same group, right? For most of them, for the whole time. That's Not the whole time, but for for a long time, and that that's another that's that alone. That, please, no, that's a testimony in itself. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. And like, I mean, I'm grateful for my group, man. Like, they are dope. They are so so dope, and they're like they're really the coolest people. They're extremely silly, so it really makes um, ministry easier. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you're around people that you really like and enjoy doing ministry with you. It makes it so much easier. So much easier. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, Casey. Casey said she likes my earrings. Um, guys, thank you so much for tuning into Music Mondays with Terry Khan. Anthony, yeah. Khan, it's been amazing talking to you. I'm glad we cleared up our initial meeting situation. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I love it. Guys, be on the lookout for Anthony. Ponder, download his music. Tune in next Monday, 7 p.m. We are going live with Joe Jones next Monday at 7 p.m. Tune in to Apple Praise and Inspiration tomorrow morning, 8.30 on WESL to listen to your girl on the radio. Get down with some Apple Praise and Worship. I love you all. Anthony, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye. Good night.